Golden Flower. Do, do, you, do you think we could do that next summer? Do you think that could be our our big investment? Like, we don't need to sign a lot of players anymore. They're, do you going, think to close, all... they're going to close the loopholes, though. That's the thing. We've got uh, to do it hopefully in January. We won't, hopefully we won't need him. Hopefully yeah. Jackson and Broya, you know, have kick-off seasons. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I hope so too. I hope so too. Like I said, I don't, I don't necessarily want him. I like that Nick Jackson. Every time Nick Jackson posts or something like that, it's always <laughs> he's always super confident. You know, he's like he's like I didn't get this far just to get this far, that kind of mentality. And I'm I I like that drive from him. It is very Drogba esque. You know, he's struggling right now, but I I still think that there's that there's that inner you know I wouldn't say demon, but inner dog, whatever whatever you want to call it. Edge. That he has. Call it an edge. Yeah. Yeah. But Hulk Hogan, he's talking about, I would love to bring Lukaku and just stick him in the team and then Jackson can just play off him. The thing is, it's not going to happen. The, the owners have sort of washed their hands of him and it's the attitude. He actually ruins your team morale and stuff like that. So although he, he probably would get his 18 goals if he was fit, and that's a big if, but his attitude's so bad, and it's like you bring, a, as Roger says, a rotten apple into the barrel. It's just going to ruin team morale. What do you think, Roger? <laughs> you're, you're quite big on the Willie Mammoth. Yeah, he, he he's detrimental to to the team ethos. It's that simple. He will destroy it. But I get yeah. why people think, oh, we've got this striker, we can just stick him in, you know. But it's we'll... it's all a veneer, though, Mitchy. It's like yeah. you know, it's it's like having stage four cancer, but you look beautiful on the outside, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're black on in the inside, and yeah. you look pretty on the outside. Analogy. You put a bit of makeup yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so not true, worth though. it. Yeah, it's like a, a pig, a pig with lipstick, eh? Would you? Yeah, <laughs> put some lipstick on that pig and take it to market, right? Here's the deal, you know, it, it, he could bear short-term dividends if he did play, but the long-term effect on this very youthful and impressionable squad, it, it's the risk is, it's not worth it. So, quick, quick one for you, indefinite. Uh, there's a lot of prop for bringing Hazard back on a free. What'd you think? I would love it. I mean, he's the one. I, from, from what I saw, I mean, I I get he's maybe past his prime. He's maybe not the same Hazard coming back, but it's experience. Is experience one, two? He's the one who got us Lavia, or was like in, behind the scenes getting that deal done. You know, speaking in his ear with uh, Joe Shields. So I appreciate him. Appreciate that. And obviously, his heart was never in Madrid. You know, it was always at Chelsea. He went because that was his dream, but. You know, players find out later that what their dreams are may not always may may not always be what they what they turn out to be. You yeah. know, it's so reality, isn't it? Yeah, he's a, he's a true blue. You know, he he loves Chelsea. That was probably his. That was probably the favorite time in his career was at Chelsea. He he just had that Real Madrid dream. That was a problem, and yeah. obviously it turned into a nightmare. Uh, Tony's putting a bit of meat on the bones there. He's saying that Lukaku went to Inter and he took the wage cut the first year, but the second year he was wanting us to take the shortfall. So he was wanting us to pay the extra bit, but obviously we knocked that back. Roger. Yeah. There, yeah, no, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, listen, this bloody woolly mammal. <laughs> I, I, seriously, I, I will have a nice cold beer once he's sold. I cannot wait. I, I can't wait either. <laughs> I cannot, oh, seriously, he, he he's he's like a bad girlfriend, isn't he? He's like yeah. <laughs> texting yeah. you. <laughs> seriously, Innocent. can't we just block him? <laughs> yeah. And Innocent, uh, if you're a new subscriber in here, let us know where you're from, buddy. You might have been on that other night where it was... Uh, loads of new people on, but I can't remember seeing your name. If you're new in here, innocent, just let us know where you're from, welcome. buddy. I really appreciate it. Yeah, welcome. welcome. Uh, is the best. This is the best Chelsea channel on, on on YouTube. So just so you know. <laughs> yeah, you you Despite keep on us. saying that. <laughs> <laughs> here's a, here's because another, of Mitchy. Uh, yeah. Hi. Uh, hey, uh, I agree with you, pal. <laughs> it's not based on any facts, like, but anyway, we'll go with it. Uh, here's another new one as well, Sean Steer. He would do more damage than good. I agree. 
I agree, pal. Yeah. Uh, let us know where you're from, Sean Sterling, if, if you're a Chelsea supporter, because I don't recognise the name, buddy. Nice to see you in here. Uh, uh, do you think we might just go with b -b 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 Jackson, Barroja and Burstow uh, in definite? You think we're just going to go with the two young boys and obviously the old the old codger of Jackson at 22? So, so what I think is, um, I still think, uh, there's something ongoing with Tony behind the scenes. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Bro Broha leaves if he doesn't get playing time and is not uh, being utilized uh, in the way he wants to be. Um, so I think we stick with Nick Jackson until January, bring in uh, uh, Tony, um, and then have them you know, competing for the same position. It's healthy competition. It would be good. Um, and, and plus Jackson and a lot of other African players are going to be going to AFCON. So they're going to be away for about a month. So yeah, they could... Appar apparently it's only two games though. Uh, there must be an international break in the middle or something. I don't yes. know what it is, but apparently it's only two league games. I heard that on uh, Lewis's channel today. I didn't know that. I, I, yeah, I, I didn't know that either. I thought it was a whole month. I thought it lasted like it, a whole. Maybe be a month, but but it's only oh, going we, to be two We have two a league winter games. break. I think we have a winter break now. That's what we? it is, then, guys. That's what it is. Oh, so, so it's two other weeks. Although, although the Afcon's on, and did I hear that this uh, new goalkeeper was the, like the best goalkeeper in the Afcon? I heard that. Is it, can I? Oh, does he play for no. America? Does America play no, in he, Afcon? He, no, of course not. That's African nations. Yeah, that's um, what I thought. No, he he um, Petrovic plays for Serbia, I think it is. Yeah, but is, is he American no, or does he play for Serbia? No, no, he put Serbia. All right. I believe so. It's just I heard something. It's maybe that video you were talking about, the London podcast thing or whatever. Uh, London is blue. Uh, they mentioned something about it was a goalkeeper of some tournament. I thought it was AFCON or something like that. Is there another no, name similar to that where America plays in something? It could be the MLS Cup or something. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Uh, oh I don't yeah, know. he's he's the number one ranked goalkeeper in the MLS, by the way. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. A, that's a big that's a big cup that one, eh? That would be like a tea <laughs> cup that one. Hey, hey, but seriously, they produce Mickey, great Mickey teams. Mouse Farmers League. <laughs> I think the only great talent so, that they really, I mean, because I'm, I'm trying to think, you, you, uh, I'm Roger, you keep saying that. I'm your country there, mate. I don't know if you noticed that. Because <laughs> I'm from Scotland, it's, eh? Scotland's a farmer league as well. <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. I mean, we're, we're developing. I hope we bring more talent. Um, but yeah, I, I call them MLS. I, I've been to a couple of Timbers games. Uh, um, they're, they're, they're fun, but it's not the same atmosphere. Like I said, I went to the Chelsea game when they came out here in preseason. It's just completely different, you know. It's, it's just European football is just at the at the highest it's ever been. So, and probably will ever be. But I think I think the the MLS is at least competitive now. Maybe they have some players that could translate in the Prem. I mean, you had um, uh, you have a bunch of American players going there, but they start in Europe usually in Germany. France, Never and they been. kind of transitioned to the Prem. Uh, uh, so. And what happened with America is you, you, you started with the Pelis, the Bobby Moores and all that, and then you've, you've changed it now. They're only allowed so many big players. This is what Roger's saying. They have so many big players that can put big money on. Then they have players on a different set of money, and then they're trying to bring loads of American players through. But I think you have also got players for like uh, Mexico, places mm -hmm. like that. Hey, there's a lot of players yeah. for surrounding like, countries coming as well. There's a lot of feeders yeah. from like Central America and Mexico. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Mexico yeah. especially. So it's developing, but it's it's developing at a nice pace, which is sustainable, which is what they did. That's why they've changed it. And you can see the sustainability. Do you remember I talked about sustainability last night? Yep, yep. The new rules. So yep, one the new thing rules I'd like to, to see is everybody saying, oh, Man City this, Man City this. The next three years, Man City is going to have to start cutting their cloth. So all this money that Man City have got, like this whole country that runs their well, club, you know, well, it's go it's going to be knocked on the head a little bit because they're starting to close all these, all these so-called loopholes, you know, that they're doing. 
uh, all these 151 charges, all these things. That's because they're up to any good and stuff like that. So 100%. everything's going to get closed and, and they're they're just going to be able to spend what they earn, you know, and everything's going to get closed. So they are not going to be able to buy, buy, buy all the time. And the thing is, like the guys in Johnny Minerals chat, they're, they've, they've not watched my show last night probably where I explain that things is going to change and we're not going to be able to buy these all these fantastic uh, plug and play players like we've done in the past. We are going to have to get players in and develop them and uh, also bring players through Cobham and develop them as well because we ain't going to be able to spend. Uh, that's all finished. I think this do will be the last the last year this happens. What, do you what, think what, that that hurts our league? I, I was, that was going to be my next question because, I mean, Saudi Arabians are coming in and paying like four times the wages and they don't have to follow FFP and there's all those things that like they're all the the, the big four is it Al-Halal, Al-Alhi, uh, Al-Eti, fuck, no, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. By the way, also. Yeah, they're all, they're, all, they're all state backed. So they're all, they're all basically backed by the Saudi royal family. So that's yeah. why they have all this money. And they come in and spend, and they're willing to spend eight hundred million for one year for Mbappe. But, uh, uh, every country, every country's leagues went through cycles. Italia, Italia was paying all the money at one point. 90s. Spain did yep. it. We we are now doing it, and it's not yeah. sustainable. What's happening is that we need to put a cap on it because it's getting absolutely silly. We've just paid one hundred fifteen million for Casado. He's maybe a fifty million pound player, so yeah, it has exactly. to be knocked on the head because it's just ridiculous. So one hundred percent. Once we and get you, knocked on the head. Everybody in Europe's not got money anyway, so yeah. they're not going to be able to like come in and give people three hundred and fifty grand a week. And if we stop doing it, you know, nobody else is going to do it as well. So what it'll do is it'll bring down all the levels, and everybody will just give people maybe a hundred grand a week, and that'll be sustainable. And places like Saudi Arabia and all that—that's just people that are going there for money. Most footballers 100%. want to play in a competitive league. That's just that's just money out there. It's nothing to well, do with football. That's like giving it, up. I, it's like giving up in life indefinite. It's like giving up. I, I don't disagree. It's like it's, it's more of a pride related thing. But I mean, like I was talking about with Neymar and like all these people they're trying to attract. I think they're trying like before it seemed like they're trying to buy our clubs, right? Like uh, Man U had a uh, someone from the United Arab Emirates and uh, um, from Saudi Arabia that were looking to invest. So you just have all these different Middle Eastern countries kind of coming in. And it's initially awesome. they wanted to buy. Yeah, they wanted to buy brands because they know that with the Chelsea, with the Man City, with, uh, uh, you know, like even in other leagues like a PSG, a Bayern, that even though they won't let, allow that. But I'm just saying these clubs are household names. So if you come in and buy it, you know you're going to make your revenue back. You know, in, in a sense, that's what it was for them because they wanted that in 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 football. They wanted to have a safe, healthy investment. Whether whether the money is super legitimate or not, I have I can't speak or say anything about that. But it's like now I think they transition from that model to oh, we'll just attract players with you know a a shitload of money to come to our league. And now you're going to get those people who don't play for loyalty towards the club. It's for money. And you so know what, the, 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 it, things so change. Much, they're not just paying huge salaries. These are generational salaries. But that, that's a huge thing. But also, these players don't have to pay income tax there. So that's a mm -hmm. huge thing. Yeah. So you're looking at between four and eight times their normal salary. This is why people like Henderson from Liverpool went there. Because what he well, earns he, there in one year will take him five years here to earn. Yeah, and I, what I've been hearing too is that the, that uh, UEFA is considering accepting four teams from the Saudi league. They're they're yes, in a, yeah. they're trying to they're trying to they're they're having talks. They're, they're negotiating something about that now. Yeah, I have but an issue with that. See, those teams would have to Europe. fall in line with FFP. Yeah. 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 To 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 play in the Champions League. Yeah, see, okay. I, I don't agree with that because it's it's the UEFA. They're not part of UEFA. They're part of the Asian group, right? Because it's based on geographical. Right. You know, with Aye, one exception, uh, Israel. Isra because Israel's of, in but, Europe, yeah. and that's not really in Europe, is it? No, but that's the only exception because because of the, the geopolitical issues since the 1970s. Oh. You can't have Israel playing um, Egypt or 
Iraq or Saudi Arabia because it's the violence. So to to contain that, that they made that the exception for obvious reasons. So, in essence, yeah, we're gonna, but I mean, we I, know I what happened with Qatar. Qatar was like that, that was so the fixed. World Cup. Yeah, hundred percent. It was yeah. both before. You know, I'm assuming. Yeah. You know, I don't know if you got not yeah, yeah. about UEFA, UEFA in general. But it was really interesting to see just how corrupt everything really is. FIFA is so corrupt; it's 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 embarrassing. Uh, yeah, your audio's went awfully bad, indefinite. You sound like an alien. Oh, yeah. oh, went bad. Oh no! Yeah, uh, is your is your phone getting too hot? Oh, he's away. Uh, uh, innocence for Ghana so I think you were probably on the other night when we had the 14,000 viewers because we had a lot of new subscribers that night Innocent, so good to see you in here pal, Adam Rickman saying subscribe now and up the chills, hope we get a win against Luton at home, thanks very much pal, I've had a couple of new subscribers tonight, that's all I want, just a couple every night and we're laughing uh, you still there Roger? no Oh, <laughs> I'm new originally from Battersea, now down in Bournemouth, up the jail. So I asked him where he was from and all that. So Sean's from Battersea. Uh, is that in London, buddy? I, I know it is. Yes. <laughs> There's a power, power station there, Battersea Power Station. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Patrick, I thought they already did that. Uh, Mickey, I'll, I'll do Big up, Sean. I used to live in York Road. Oh, Mickey Droy. Uh, Mickey Droy, you told me you were from Battersea. I remember that, pal. Tony Tigers, I hope you're right, Patrick. Nobody wants to see him back playing at the Chelsea shirt, but if he's gone, it's no longer an option. Yep. Mickey Droy, boy, if you're surprised how many people back these fraudulent yanks. All oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Sends the, the, the fracker to their own oh, definite back. Uh, uh, and just people yeah, yeah. talking amongst themselves. Uh, Tony Tiger, oh, Tony Tiger saying another mid-table finish and the owner's reputation will be in the mud. Patrick, desperate times call for def desperate measures. That's it. At the moment we're twelve, right? I'll speak to you next, Roger. At the moment, in my mind, we're twelve till we prove otherwise. At the moment, we've had a good draw against Liverpool and a shocking result. So, where do you see us at at the moment? I think the results don't reflect how well we've played in both games. So, listen, if, if we play West Ham 10 times, we'll probably win 6-7, to seven. we'll probably draw 2-3, to three, and we'll probably lose 1 or 2. So, listen, if you, if you were a neutral and you were watching that game, who would you, and you ask a fan, who, who would you want your team to be? I doubt very much they would say West Ham. I'm being neutral, I'm being unbiased. We looked very good, and, and that's borne out by the XG. We just aren't clinical and we made some errors defensively. Now, if you extrapolate that over a season, that's hopefully that can oh. be eliminated. Uh, who's, uh, Metal Face Doom is asking who Aston Villa played. They played Hibs a night in the yeah, Scotland. They, they won big five, time. Five nil. Yeah. But Aston Villa are a good, strong team and Scottish yeah, teams are. are in the mud. I didn't know what you were talking about, buddy. I the Europe Europa Conference League. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Five nil, eh? They'll not be getting through that tie, would you think? Think they'll turn that round? You think they'll turn that one round? I don't think so. Nah. <laughs> They've not got George Best playing for them now, would you think, Roger? <laughs> yeah, exactly. They need, they need George Best playing for them. They, they need like player. eleven George Best. <laughs> yeah, M Mickey Dry Boy, Mickey Dry Boy, indefinite. Mickey Dry Boy was saying what I was going to say. I was going to say to you, we had this with China. They bought players for a year or so and they disappeared. The same thing might happen with Saudi. I know they've got a lot of money, uh, but it depends. Are they just going to keep flinging incredible money at things for years and years? Maybe well, they will. Well, they can do it. Yeah, they can't do. I was gonna say they. I mean, people talk about the richest people in the world, and there they don't have to report their income. No. So the amount of wealth that the the royal families have, you know, the Emiratis have, is just like it's crazy. It's crazy. It, it it's it because they're sitting on so much oil. Does their wealth ever I, go away? I guess. Ah, uh, but that's the thing: is the oil is going to go away, and the world's trying to get away from using oil. 
So that's why they're trying to like they call it sports washing. They're trying to get their money into other countries. Sure. And you know, that's why they're buying clubs and but stuff. But don't forget, like that. don't forget though that a lot a lot of their natural resources like gas for liquid um, natural gas and, and then you also have plastics are made from oil, different levels of petroleum. So even if the cars are weaned off it for industrial purposes, 